Right, welcome to a tour of my Ford Transit Custom. It's the Transit Custom Limited 300 TDCI um, Euro 6 AdBlue engine. It's the limited edition, so with that you get all the alloy wheels, the fancy headlights and the headlights what come on when you turn the corners. It's got um, electric mirrors, heated mirrors, heated windscreen, auto headlights, auto wipers, air conditioning and cruise control. Have I said that? Yeah. It's a 2018 model 300 Ad Blue engine. And for anybody who watched my last video will know that I'm selling this. This is going up for sale. I do have news on that, I'll tell you later. It has a pop top roof. It's done 36,000 miles. And if I unlock it, it would be much better to do a video. So let me show you the front. So in the front, you've got all the mod cons. As dab radio air conditioning it's this is the automatic model and beautiful to drive just drives like a car all the seats match with the back electric windows obviously cruise control and all the bits and bobs in the back in the back you can see my Windscreen reflectors, we'll just get rid of those. So it has a little table, as most of them do, as a rock and roll bed. Under here, under here, I have two 110 amp hour, 110 amp hour batteries. Yeah, it's supposed to unlock it. And under there is the water container and the waste container. The waste container in, in, in the minute. I know that now because I've just um, I've just used some of the cold water and I forgot I ain't got the waste container in, so there's actually water in the sink now. Okay, that's the main control unit. The first one will operate the um, fridge. The second one does the outlets underneath, which you can see there. There's a USB sockets and a 12 volt socket outside there's a USB socket and a 12 volt socket in there the same up the top and it, the first switch operates the fridge the second one is to operate the sockets underneath what I've just shown you the third one is for the water pump the fourth is for the awning and the fifth is spare so on this one here you've got the this will give you your true battery reading this one is for the this one is for the dimmer this is the dimmer switch for the lights underneath you've got your diesel heater this has a a five kilowatt diesel heater in it's a bit over the top but it's okay and there is for the 1500 watt inverter which runs the two sockets just below the sink there so that's basically the control panel I've got a little cupboard there if I lift that up you can see that's just a little cupboard in there nothing really it's just a little bit of space for whatever and along there you've got your main shelf Um, what else can I show you down here is your fridge it works exactly the same as the one you've got in your kitchen at home. Just kicks in, kicks out and comes on when it's needed to keep the temperature at the same temperature. At the required temperature, should I say. Blackout curtains all round. 
and then down here you have the Dometic cooker and sink. It's a two ring hob um, with an old fashioned spark ignition and a sink with one of those taps which I don't rate. Put that down. So at the top it has a pop top roof. There we are. Has the fly screens on one side. Has a plastic window there, another fly screen there. So as a self-inflating airbed, they're pretty good. It's carpeted throughout. I've never slept up here, but I hear it is pretty good. And when you don't need that, you just press that up and it gives you the, the, uh, the ability to stand up in it. The seat here, this one turns around fully turns around the driver's one doesn't this one turns around this turns into the rock and roll bed it just pulls out when you press it down and you can see where look that's just there for demo purposes you can put the table out you've got yourself a little table and you can sit there so move over to the back and in the back Inside there is my ring, the battery, battery, battery to battery charger. And just below it, you can see the Kruger. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Kruger 1600, 1500 watt inverter, which runs the two sockets that I showed you. This has got the diesel tank recommended by Mel's Van Weld, and it is really good. It gives you a big top so you can easily get the pump in there. I run this on red diesel. In the bottom, I have my gas bottle. On the top, there's a 110 watt solar panel. Really good. It's um, a PV logic and it works incredibly well. And it, to be fair, in the summer, gives me plenty of power. You saw then the batteries were fully charged and it's been in garage now for a week. It had some electrical issues. Every time I locked the door, the arm went off. Shouldn't do that. It doesn't do it now, it's, it's good. If you have a switch here, which, when pressed, operates the electric awning. I'm not gonna take it all the way out today because it's nice and dry. And this comes out two meters. But I'm gonna put it away because it looks like it's gonna rain and I don't wanna get it wet and then have to fold it up. It's got glass all around, although the window on the back, not them, but this one. This is a dummy, so it's just a glass stuck onto it. Only has one opening window and that is there. Got them window deflectors, which are really good and that means you can um, have the windows open and nobody can see it, they're open. With it being a limited edition, you get the Magolo wheels and um, all the fancy stuff inside. Now, like I said, for those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that this is up for sale. I've decided that going away in this for a long period, for a long period of time with the stuff I want to carry, because I also have a motorbike that I want to put on the back of the van. This one isn't really practical. Um, to live in it long time. See, when I bought this van, I only bought it because I was going to do the odd tour. I was going to go away for a couple of weeks. I've got to be honest, I never had any intention of living in a van full time. And the only reason I'm doing it now is because um, I've decided to go on some really long trips, maybe what will take me a year. And that'll be coming up in the future and go abroad for long periods of time, if we still can, which I'm sure we'll be able to, but... You know what I mean? But I keep saying, if you watch my last video, you'll know that this is up for sale. Um, I am selling it. In fact, I can bring you some news today and tell you that this vehicle is now sold. So he has laid a deposit. And within a week, 10 days, hopefully it will be gone. And I will be buying a new one. Well, not a new one, but another one. 
which I'm going to then, that's what I'm going to do the build on. So the news is, if anybody was watching, I said it's going to be a few weeks before I do the van build in my last video, it could actually be sooner. But bear in mind, um, it isn't sold till the money's in my bank account, so we'll see how that goes. I am going to now get another van, living it full time, but I will be travelling constantly. It won't be just, I won't be just living in the van, I'm going to constantly travel. I'm going abroad, going on some really long trips. I am thinking, I'm not going to mention it today, but I am thinking of a really long trip which could take me a year or two so make sure you subscribe to the channel because that could be coming up so that's it that's all i've got for you this week i will be back next week there's a full back van bill coming i'm hoping that if this goes in the next week or so and i will keep you updated i'll do another video for friday regardless of what it is and I'll, i will keep you updated even if it's just a quick update but then after that, it will be buying the van. I'm going to take the camera with me. Even when I go and buy the van, I'm going to take it with me. I'm going to keep you informed every step of the way. And then I'm going to do the full van build. I've enjoyed camping in this van so much that now I just want to do it full time. I just want to go traveling full time. And why not? You only live once. So I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So stick around until, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. I hope you have. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.